Hey, welcome to Mikey's RC. The goal of this video is to work on everything we've learned so far, which is rudder control and cyclic control, but we're going to be doing it with the nose of the helicopter pointed towards you. This is called the nose-in orientation. First, make sure your helicopter is balanced. This was covered in the first video lesson. Then turn on your transmitter. Then plug in your helicopter and hold it steady for 5 to 10 seconds while the gyro stabilizes. In all the training videos we've done so far, we've been practicing with the tail of the helicopter pointed towards us. Now we're going to change it, and we're going to turn it around so that the nose of the helicopter is pointed towards us. This is going to make some of the controls backwards, especially the cyclic control. The rudder, in a sense, is still correct because spinning one way is still the same, but it might look backwards since the, you want to focus on the nose of the helicopter. Don't feel too intimidated by this. As long as you do it slowly and make sure that the helicopter is only skidding across the ground and not actually hovering, there's no concern about crashing. So what we're going to do is basically copy everything that we've done so far, but with the helicopter pointed towards us. This is typically called the nose-in orientation. First you want to start off by making sure that our helicopter is fairly well trimmed. This was covered in the other, other videos. Basically all you have to do is raise the throttle so that the helicopter is just about to hover and see if it wants to turn or slide any which way. If it does, you want to trim it out with your trims so that it doesn't really have much of a tendency. Don't worry about getting it perfect, just get it close. Okay, that looked pretty good. The helicopter even hovered for a second and it didn't seem to veer off in any direction. So now we're going to start off by using just the rudder. You can have your thumb on the cyclic, but try not to move it. Just raise the throttle up until the helicopter is almost about to hover and just practice wagging the rudder back and forth. Try and wag it so that the, the tail moves and then comes back to center and then moves and comes back to center with the nose of the helicopter always pointing towards you. You can even try a couple pirouettes, but always try and bring it back so that the nose of the helicopter is pointed back towards you. Once you feel fairly comfortable with the rudder control, with the nose of the helicopter pointed towards you, now we can throw in the forward and backward cyclic moving. So what we're going to do is bring up the throttle till the helicopter is just about to hover and start moving the cyclic forward and then back and scooting that helicopter forward and backwards. Meanwhile, we're always making sure to use this rudder to keep that tail pointed away from you or the nose of the helicopter pointed towards you. Now that we've practiced the forward and backwards with the cyclic while keeping the rudder straight, now we're going to practice left to right. Slowly bring up the throttle till the helicopter is just about to hover and start scooting the helicopter back and forth. Meanwhile, making sure to keep the nose and tail pointed in the same orientation using your rudder to control that.
Now it's time to put everything we've learned together, making the helicopter move forwards and backwards and side to side, the whole time keeping the helicopter in the same nose-in orientation. So what we're going to do is make the helicopter go all around the perimeter of the box. Now do the same thing and make the helicopter go the other way around the box. Now you've done a bunch of practicing with the helicopter in different orientations. Turn the helicopter back around with the nose pointing away from you and just try some regular scooting. You're going to be amazed at the control that you now have over the helicopter. A good thing to practice is try writing letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, and so forth. Just scoot the helicopter around in a pattern that you can see in your mind. That'll help you get precise control.